Hi, my name is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts, and uh, I'm working on a series of videos for the Rochester 4 barrel 4G type of carburetor. And uh, this is our uh, second video. Uh, the first one I put together the, the uh, throttle body, uh, as you see here. And we're going to continue on with the uh, float bowl, uh, but first I'm going to assemble, put the throttle body on the float bowl. Um, and uh, I've determined I had a couple of different gaskets and I found this one to fit the best. You want to be careful of this particular gasket getting the right one if you put the wrong one on. So for example this one, um, this would be the wrong one. Yeah, it's easier to see on this. Um, and as you can see, I mean this is pretty extreme, but right here would, would uh, uh, create a vacuum leak. And uh, so I've done that before myself, so I know it can happen. All right, so we're just going to put these together. Um, let's see. And uh, we have a couple of uh, screws that uh, use a Phillips. The rest of them are use a straight type of uh, screwdriver. Phillips type goes into the uh, throttle body. Now let's get get a couple started here. So I use these uh, plastic cookie sheets uh, because they have a raised edge and they work great for uh, working on little stuff like this. So the parts tend to stay on the bench. Oh, I have this big screw I'm going to put in the middle. Let's see, need one more. Body screw and it's right here. Throttle body and the float bowl together. Next thing I'll do is uh, put in the main jets. Now I got the primary side uh, sitting towards me, and I can uh, tell that because it has um, uh, the hole for the accelerator pump. Um, <clears throat> so, first of all, uh, my primary jets, I put them on a wire. And I do that while they're being clean. That way I remember which side they go on. So I know my other two are the secondary. And uh, uh, both sides are uh, the same size, uh, fortunately. That, that, that should be the uh, um, the usual. A little bit in this one. I'll get a little... wire in there okay so these two that are not on the wire were secondary so I'm going to turn it around and, 
can uh, get these into the secondary. Come on, get right side up. You don't have to over tighten these things. If you have trouble uh, getting them out, they don't come loose uh, real easy um, when you're taking these apart. Sometimes you can put a screwdriver on like this and, and hit it a couple of times with a hammer. Not, not real hard because you'll just mushroom the uh, jet, but um, a lot of times that will break it loose for you. Okay, so we got the primary left. more now use ultrasonic cleaning which is about the best for carburetors these days um, cleaners you get in the parts stores aren't uh, you know just about the best they can do because it all EPA laws now you, you really can't get anything or actually clean anything anymore at um, any rate uh, when I'm done a lot of times I will uh, uh, use uh, soda blasting uh, if you have access to a, uh, a blaster and you have soda in it um, you can use that on a carburetor don't use anything else or you'll clog up the pores or the orifices and uh, have all kinds of problems that would be just like concrete so when I after I blast it with uh, um, you know if there's a lot of black marks in here and, and you got some minor corrosion and down there uh, um, it's a good way to get them cleaned up and even the outside so um, after I do that then I, I blow out the uh, while it's still dry I blow out all of the uh, holes and everything to make sure I get it all out and then I wash it out with water Sometimes I'll actually stick it back in my cleaner and let it clean for half an hour. Uh, but at any rate, uh, you, you want to get it all out. But there, because there again, if you, I've I've left some like in some of these holes, and they'll get caked up with a little water, and they turn into like concrete. So it's a real pain to get it out. So uh, just wa washing it out, you get it. And uh, baking soda doesn't uh, seem to be gentle on the metal. So at any rate. Uh, so we're going to have our uh, power valve here that goes in the bottom and uh, make sure that's plenty loose. You've got a little, uh, let's see, I don't have the top here yet. Oh, here it is over here. Oh, I don't have the piston. Where is it? Well, at any rate, here's, here's the piston. So this piston goes into the top uh, so it will set like this and uh, uh, at very low speeds and idle you have more vacuum in your carburetor and so the vacuum is going to pull this up away from uh, this uh, needle and as you get high speeds um, your vacuum will decrease and this will let off and uh, push this plunger down and which will allow more fuel to flow into your carburetor so that's what that's for gasket for it
Should have found the gasket before I started here. There are special tools for putting these things in, but uh, of course uh, the average person wouldn't have them, so I, I try not to use anything special when I'm doing these videos. And I hate that when I get a video and they're kind of like woodworking. They, uh, what was that? This old house on TV. They, uh, you know, they, well, whoever that guy was, uh, I can't remember his name now, makes the uh, uh, cabinets and whatnot. But, you know, he's got the planers, he's got all the equipment and the vacuums and all that stuff. And and I'm thinking, hey, yeah, this is all great, but, uh, you know, I don't have all that stuff. Let's see him do it with a skill saw. At any rate. Okay, so we got the seats, or excuse me, the uh, uh, main jets. We've got the power valve in there. Um, we've got this, uh, we're going to put our uh, Venturi's in here, and uh, we've got two. The one for the primary is pretty easy to figure out because it'll have this uh, little extra thing out right here, and it'll have two little holes in it. This is where your fuel goes. Um, it'll go up into here and squirt out of here. You'll see two streams, so when you're looking down the carburetor and you press the accelerator, pedal, um, the accelerator pump will push some fuel up into here and it'll squirt out of here. So if you see two nice streams, you're, you're, you're looking good there. Um, this, uh, um, <clears throat> these are pretty small holes, but I found I use this, this thing right here, uh, this tag, and uh, it, it fits in there pretty good. And I just make sure those are clean. They, when I first looked at them, looked like they were clogged up with something, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, just be careful you don't uh, enlarge the holes any more than they are. So uh, we're going to put, uh, we, there's a check ball in here and a spring. We have two check balls in this carburetor. And uh, let's see, I forgot already. I believe, yeah, the big one went in here. The small one goes in the accelerator pump. And uh, the way you find figure that out, if you uh, hold on. keep in mind I'm a lousy artist, so you got a little cylinder going down where you're going to put the check ball in, and uh, uh, underneath here you will have a kind of a little place right here. Okay. And the check ball is going to fit right in there. Okay, so you don't want a check ball that big that's just going to sit on top of, of it here. You want it to set down this little. There be it's kind of angled down. You'll see it sits down this little trough, and that's how you figure out which one goes where uh, when they're different size. Okay, and so uh, I put the bigger one there, and then uh, the smaller one fits pretty good in this other one. So, at any rate, uh, okay. So where is the, uh, uh, did you lose it? I had the spring sitting here, here it is. Uh, so this little uh, brass colored spring goes in over the ball. And then you got a little uh, metal T. And you, you, you will get a new one. Uh, I've lost mine, so I'm just put the old one in here, which is fine. Those, those they work. And you'll see a, a slot. You'll see it's slotted for it to fit in there. It's pretty easy to see. And uh, there. And sometimes just tapping it will be enough.
don't want it to come out. So you, you might just uh, want to peen the edge tip. Don't don't go overboard. You might have to take it out someday. Peen the edges of it a little bit so it doesn't uh, come up any, and uh, which it isn't going to do anyway because uh, uh, let's see. I believe. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's going to hit this. So <clears throat> so don't get carried away. It's not a big deal. Okay. So uh, anyhow, so I told you on the primary, see the difference in the two. So it's easy to figure out which one the primary is. And the primary end is where the accelerator pump is. So it's going to go in here just like this. And uh, of course I need the gasket first. Now let's get the, and the gasket here. Okay, I'll make sure it fits. Okay, looks good. I'm going to spray it with silicone spray lubricant. I like to do that and then uh, be, it keeps them from sticking. So next time it'll uh, come out easy. So there we go. Um, here's my other gasket. As you can see, I'm totally prepared for these videos. The gasket sticks out a little bit, but that's okay. The rest of it is good. All right, so we have uh, these uh, smaller type of screws. These have lock washers on them. Got the lock washer on that one. Oops. Okay. I don't necessarily need to run the video to uh, well, I tighten every one of these up because this is as far as we're going to go um, on assembly on this video. The next video we'll work on the top, putting the floats on, etc. And then we'll put it all together and uh, with the accelerator pump. And, and there you go. So uh, we'll wrap this up. And I'll finish tightening all this up and check it over make sure uh, I didn't forget something. And uh, uh, we'll be good to go. So this is what we'll have at this point. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.